Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie Man here, and welcome back to another episode of FC20 here on Football Manager 2020. Um, we've, we, it just, we'll look at results. It's, yeah. Hi guys, so as you can tell, yeah, we lost to Besiktas 4-2 in a game that we was very dominant. They had five, five shots on target. And with the five shots on target, they put four of them in the back of the net. So, as you can imagine, that went down really well for me. So, yeah, we're out of Europe completely, which was extremely frustrating. And I feel like this was the spark, which has led to some really up and down form. I've spent a lot of time over the last 24 hours looking at the squad and thinking, is this squad actually good enough moving forward? And do we need to make some wholesale changes in the preseason? Because I just feel like... We're behind teams now in the league, whereas before I felt like we was quite dominant. Aside from, like, say, Ajax PSV, uh, I felt it was quite dominant. I'm not feeling that this season. We seem to have a real ability this year to concede goals. We did, however, win in the Cup 3-0, and then we had some friendlies because it's been December, so there are some transfers to go through. When I say there are some transfers to go through, we brought in one. We brought in Maritan van der Verd. Vood, I don't know. This, this is his name's not important. He's a wonder kit goalkeeper. He's absolutely brilliant. The Belgium. I've been looking at him quite a few times on different saves, especially over on Twitch. And he's just someone I've really wanted to sign for the longest of times. And Linda's made two mistakes in that Besiktas game. So really, at this stage, I was ready to put the computer in a bin and throw it out of the window. But instead, we just signed a new goalkeeper who I hope is not going to make those mistakes. Linda's has had mistakes in him this season, which is a shame because last year I felt like he was really solid. This year, he's not felt solid at all. He's been absolutely Mr. Paper Hands. But we do have another wonder kid at the club because I don't sign experience apparently in this save. But he, he really is a class goalkeeper. Moving forward, he's going to be fantastic for us. The deal, if you was wondering, is 28 million, eventually rising to 33 million. So for the first time at FC20, we got a lot of money in. I've spent a really, really big. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be punished for it or not. I think it's a good signing. I genuinely think it's a fantastic signing. And we need to start putting money down to improve. Now, in pre-season, the biggest positions I'm going to start looking at improving on is the defence. Because, I mean, if you look at it this year, it's just we seem to have dropped off a lot. We don't have any real top talented defenders apart from Mature. Uh, apart from Laird at right back, Rayleigh is back up, Kanker and uh, Kazuyas hasn't improved enough to be back up right back in my opinion and tenders come in and he's been he's been okay but he's not been good enough i think defensively we've gone down in quality whereas offensively we're we're exactly the same as we was last year not that great going forward but improved probably we've probably scored more goals this year uh, per game than we did last year but my biggest downfall this year so far has been defence. The players that I thought were going to be standout performers for us defensively just haven't kicked on this year. They've not played well at all, and it's causing us a lot of problems. But anyway, get ready for some mixed results. I mean, it's not been the end of the world. I've changed tactic like 19 times just in this one running. But we beat NEC 3-0 and then got absolutely dominated by the test. They destroyed us. They were fantastic. Let's move on. A 3-0 win in the cup again against VVSB because everybody knows VVSB uh, we then beat William 2-2-1 after going down uh, it was a decent result to be honest with you for us to come back and that's when I started to play around with tactics a little bit because these are teams that we should be having dominant performances again we played against Sparta who were recently relegated in the cup so it does mean that we're through to the quarter final and we have Gronagan and the teams that are left in the cup are pretty kind so I am slightly viewing the Dutch cup now as a trophy we could win and also a competition that might help me get European football last but not least we played against Heracles and we drew 1-1 it was extremely frustrating they didn't have anything all game we gave them a penalty thanks and tender you're a really good guy we get a goal back from Paulo Fernandez, who I was pretty happy that he managed to get a goal because he's had a terrible season if we're being honest and then Trevor Chalaber got himself sent off so as you can imagine there's been some FM rage going through this entire period of games and I'm hoping that the two matches today turn that around but we are playing against Fortuna Sittard and then a few days later against PSV both at home which might benefit us but I'm not holding out too much hope and we are trying a different tactic and I don't know if I like it. Alright guys so I think this is going to be the squad we go with today we are toying around with a new 
kind of tiki taka style of tactic. It worked before, so I'm convinced I can try and get it working again. I don't know if that's going to be factual, if that's going to be what happens, or if we're going to get absolutely battered here today, but surely this will be a better performance. Also, Sup is away on international duty, so Izatov has actually got a few games and got himself his first goal for the club, but Vasquez will start up top today. It's an okay side. We've got an okay squad for today's game. I just hope we could pull off a decent result. All right, here we go. I don't know absolutely anybody in the Fortuna Sittard team, so that doesn't make an issue to me. Let's hopefully go out and get a decent performance today. As I said before, until this game, we were playing like a Gagan Press style. Now, I remember us being a very decent side in a Tiki Taka style um, last season. So we're going to try and tweak and change this. I've taken off underlaps. We, nobody likes underlaps. Uh, I've taken them off, but we'll see what happens as we nearly go 1-0 down instantly. And Linders did really well there in goal, I think, to save that. But that's not the start you want, is it? The first shot on target has been punishing for us this year. And I'm not sure how we're going to get on. I genuinely don't understand why the team is so bad. We're going to concede. Linders well saved. I don't understand why the team is so bad this year. It's like night and day different. We're just nowhere near as good this year as we were last year. Whereas I feel like we have signed some good players and only really lost one in your gratte. And just for some strange reason, the team just can't put results together this season. It's, it's non-existent. We're playing against Fortuna Sittard here, who, let's be honest, are not a very good side. And we haven't had a single shot yet. Don't get me wrong, we've been dominant. Are we going to get a goal? Nasi from distance? And there we go, 1-0, that'll do, happy days. But I'm not confident in the performance, that's the problem. Although I'm happy that nasi has got a goal. He's definitely been a standout player this season. Very nervous after the corner came in that we weren't going to get to the head. But the keeper's had a nightmare. We're getting blessed now with keepers making mistakes, aren't we? That's fine, though he can keep doing that. I thought the seasons of us fighting for a European playoff has gone, but it looks like that could be our scenario again this year. Unless we do win the cup, which would make life a lot easier. As we hit half time, we'd be dominant at the back end of the game, but we didn't settle down very quickly, did we? And they had some great attacks early doors. Let's see what some of the other results are. AZ are winning, Ajax are actually drawing, which is interesting, and PSV are drawing, which is good news for us. Right, so into the second half, and hopefully we can get a second goal and make this quite a comfortable victory. But my problem is now is I'm still questioning whether we play this against PSV or not. Now, PSV aren't having a great year either. Nasi goes through early on here. Can he get a second? That would have been beautiful. Um, PSV aren't particularly playing very well this season, which, I mean, that bolts well fantastically for us, doesn't it? But uh, knowing my luck, they'll get a great result against us. Fernandez goes very close there. They'll get a great result against us. So I don't know if we should play a tiki-taka style against them. Or we should now look to play the counter-attack against them, the same counter that we used against Real Madrid. I'm genuinely up and down on tactics at this stage, and I have no idea what I should or shouldn't be playing with this squad. Usually when you look at a squad on overall balance, especially from my experience this year, I know exactly how I should set them up. This team, I have no idea. I'm literally making this up right now. And this has been the longest highlight I've seen on key highlights. As Ethan Laird goes through here, what can he do? This is He hasn't made enough of these runs this season. Oh my God, Ethan Laird, what a goal. What a goal. I, he's not done that once this season. I mean, he just couldn't be stopped, could he? Look at that. Dived in as well, went right past him. There we go again. Some neat skill in the match engine and he slots it home. I mean, he can keep doing that. If he does that for the back end of the season, we'll finish in a good position. Just wish he could have done that against Besiktas. I feel far happier now we've scored that goal. Can we get a third? It'd be good to have a dominant victory here. They do. Their centre-back used to play for us, actually. I didn't realise that, although I do sense them playing a little bit better now. I don't know. I, I really think that this squad suits a cam. Because Seferosa and Philippe could play there so well, but maybe I just retrain them to be central midfielders. Go on, Nassi. Look at this passing movement. You see, we do play... Wow, Vasquez with a brilliant goal. We do play well when we play a tiki-taka style. I just think against the bigger clubs, though, it, it just doesn't work. So maybe we keep the counter one in our pocket, in our top pocket, and we pull that one out. Pull it out of the pocket. When we need it, what a goal from Vasquez, though. Very happy with that. He's actually come on leaps and bounds. Since Sup went on international, I think he's scored. That'll be his fourth. No, mate, that'll be his fifth goal. He wasn't doing that before. We need more of that, please. Vasquez, we need more of that. Laird now takes up the ball. What can we do here? I mean, this would be brilliant if we could get another. I'd be very happy with this result. 
very, very, very happy with this result. Moving into the PS, uh, PSV game, which I think is going to be very difficult. Fernandez, uh, they're just hitting them for everywhere now. Just everyone have a shot. Go for it. Oh, we're going to stay with the highlight for the corner as well. Does this mean another goal for Vasquez? He's been good from the corner. He's scored a few headers now from corners. Nobody else. None of the bigger defenders as Fernandez goes close again. He's knocking on the door, isn't he? We're going to stay with the highlight again because it's a corner. And Fernandez hits the crossbar. That's three attempts in a row for Fernandez. But he's not scored any one of them. All right, so we're going to bring on Nico Serrano and Seferosa, both recently back from injuries, trying to build their fitness back up because two very key players for the team, to be honest with you, though. Although I must admit... I think Fernandez may be on his way out, but Batista Myers had a fantastic season this year. He's really picked up the slack when I've needed him to. Let's make one more sub. Last sub of the game. I don't know who to bring off, to be honest with you. Everyone's having a pretty decent game out there. Although Vasquez has picked up a knock, so we'll bring him off. We'll bring on Izzatov. We can't go playing here, to be honest with you. The team's really committed to this neat passing style very, very well in this match. And they've struggled against us. They really have struggled as Ethan Laird goes charging forward and they are going to get a counter-attack. I would have loved a clean sheet. And we might get it. Well in Linders. That's, see, he did that all last season. But against Besiktas, I just felt like every shot on target was going to go in. He had back-to-back -back games where he made mistakes and I just couldn't deal with it because he made that mistake against Ajax as well and it just really, really infuriated me. Well, that's a very good result, but now we play PSV and I'm a little bit nervous about it because they are fourth in the league. I mean, if they play that formation, I'm very nervous because that's not a bad attack going forward, is it? We're going to struggle with that, although there should be plenty of room for them in the midfield for us to play through, uh, considering if we do play this tiki tack style it might work to our benefit they've got quite a small squad as well compared to us my squad is huge i just you know me i'm a hoarder and i just like to pile in as many players as possible but there are a few players in this squad that i wouldn't mind uh Bruma, uh clark salter mario jr they've got some decent players and i think they're going to be an issue they're certainly underperforming uh, the bad news is is vasquez isn't going to be available for that game out for five to eight days so we're really going to have to rely on Izatov and He's um, he's okay, but he's an, he's an extremely young player. I mean, I suppose the only other choice would be to play Nasi up top. Now, we signed Izatov, the Russian, on the hopes that he was going to be one of the best players in the world. He's not going to be. Not a problem. But he is going to be a very good squad player. At 19, he's already currently operating at an Eredivisie level, which is impressive for him at 19. Uh, so I still think all round he's going to be a good player for us. We just need to find his place in this team. And he needs to start scoring goals to be honest with you. But in other news, we have a traitor amongst us, Oriol Busquets. Now, I tried to sign him. He was out of contract, like we said, and I pushed and pushed and pushed to try and sign him. I would have loved to have had him at this club. He signed for Feyenoord, the absolute snake. He signed for Feyenoord, and I couldn't come to terms with a deal that we could afford wages. I He wanted to join us, I couldn't pay his wage demands. He wanted just a little bit too much, and it really infuriated me because we weren't miles apart, but I just couldn't match it. I, I couldn't meet what he wanted, and unfortunately, he slipped through our grasps, and he's going to go to Feyenoord, and we're going to have to play against him. Couldn't he? Why just go somewhere else? Go to England. Okay, so we're going to let Hilgers go for 1.4 million. It's not a bad deal because we... Uh, we, well, we need to replace him. I'm going to look for another centre-back, but it's not a bad deal in the grand scheme of things because he isn't fantastic all round. He's he's okay, but he's prone to a mistake. I don't know. He just wasn't getting game time and complaining. He wouldn't re-sign a new contract for next season. It just felt like at this stage, it made sense with a year on to get a decent deal for him. I'm okay with it. 1.4 million, and I really think we need better central defenders anyway. I've already mentioned we're going to strengthen him in that department. So let's see if I can find one now. All right, so I'm scouting a few players to bring out on loan at centre-back for this season just to get us through until the end of the year. But I think we're going to sign this guy on a pre-contract. Tony Berekovic. I mean, I've used him before, so I already know that he's a pretty decent centre-back. Um, but he, he is very solid. He's got 13 tackling, 14 marking, 15 heading. He's six foot four, but he's also got passing of 14 and 17, which would play into our tiki-taka style. So hopefully, he'll agree a contract and we bring him in. Also, we did sign on a pre-contract. Dario, I forgot to mention this one. I know him as a wonder kid. He's a 
brilliant central midfielder and I needed another cam if we're going to commit to playing a cam, which I don't know. I think I'm going to commit to that. He also could play up top quite comfortably up top, to be honest with you, with uh, 15 technique and 15 finishing. I think he could play a striker as well, especially if we played like a false nine. I don't know. I'm getting like Barcelona vibes now with the style of football we're going to end up playing, but I think that's probably the direction we started to build the team in. All right, so it's crunch time here against PSV. We're going to bring in Serrano for this game. We're going to bring Chalaba back into the squad. Pantic's going to come in as box-to-box -box midfielder and Izatov up top. Hopefully a good result. Let's just pray for a non-woeful performance here, but knowing that they're getting the first highlight again is a little bit worrying. Although Fortuna Sittard had the first highlight, didn't take it, and then we came back and battered them. So hopefully it's a similar result here. Serrano on the ball. I'm just... I'm thinking going back to the roots that we used last year on the style of football that we built with the squad. I moved away from that this season, and that was probably the biggest mistake I've made. So, ball. Good ball in. Izatov scores. There we go. Two minutes in, and Izatov has a goal. Although we did score early against Ajax. I don't want to get too excited. Got way too excited there, Yorkie. We did score early against Ajax, and they came back. So, maybe I don't want to be jumping for joy at this moment in time. But Izatov comes in and makes an impact. This is what we need from this man. Absolutely. Just, just. Nods it. Nods it on. Absolutely fantastic. 1-0 up against PSV. And I'm wondering why I didn't resort to this formation ages ago. This would move us up to fourth, which would be massive for us. Uh, the bigger, the worst result we could have today is a loss. A draw wouldn't be the end of the world because we'd still be really in touching distance. And if we can go on a run where we beat the smaller teams, we'd be fine. Right, you join me back here as we're on the ball again which may mean that it's our highlight, may not. We do drop down to fifth position, though, after other results. I, I have to remember that we scored so early in the game and that other games were going to go against us. Linders now. I've kept Linders in net. I've given him the opportunity because he's had a couple of good games, but I don't like this. I know I have to beat their press. We have to beat their press in this game with our passing. Once we've beaten their press, I think we'll be all right. Nasi Univar here, he's got quick feet. So is Philippe. Is a Tov's in again. Oh, imagine if he'd got his second against PSV. That'd be huge for him. So far, it's been quite a quiet game, highlights-wise. As we win the ball back here, Philippe is actually fantastic. If you've not signed this guy before from Lech Poznan, and don't sign him because he, he shoots like that. But honestly, he wins the ball back so much. I'm, I'm genuinely I feel like Philip's probably better as a centre mid and not as a cam but at half time we're winning 1-0 and it's been although it looks like it's been exciting it's been very dull to be honest with you it's been very very dull and Nico Serrano's not having a great game I'm glad I brought him in I do find when you bring a player back from injury they tend to come into the squad and not play too well that happens to me all too often, and it's quite frustrating. So here we go. Second half. They've got a corner. You know what corners usually mean for the opposition. I thought it was going to break away there. Ricardo Harps nods it in. Adrissi puts it over. Don't do that to me, Adrissi. Me and you are good friends. I've got mixed feelings about the start of this second half. They look really good. We need them to slip up and make a mistake, maybe. Now could be the time. No, maybe not. Well, we've just had a reckless tackle, and it looks like Benavidez is going to get sent off. No, he's not going to get sent off. They do have a free kick, though. In a compromising position, we actually win the ball back and move it forward. I'm probably going to make some subs now, because we have a few players actually on terrible performances, uh, and I'm going to sub them off. If we can just make sure we don't concede on my way to subbing them off, and Cody, great goal. I mean, fantastic goal. He hit that completely top bins. Ah, I knew their strike force was going to be an issue in this game. I really did. I'm getting Ajax vibes here, though. I'm getting Ajax vibes with this result. Look at this for a hit. It's a screamer. It's a screamer. I can't blame Linders for that one. Very frustrating when you bring players in, you give them an opportunity, and they just perform like dreadfully like Serrano did, and Pantic as well, to be honest with you. Pantic's been hit and miss this season. I'm not sure we're going to keep him around. I cannot believe that they scored such a great goal there. But if we're being honest, in the grand scheme of things, this result wouldn't be the end of the world. If we go on a run after this game against PSV, I'm, I'm taking the result game by game now. I'm taking it game by game against who we played against as they're going to score late on, aren't they? Just like Ajax did. We're going to have an Ajax repeat here as Cody scores a second. Oh, I can't believe this. This is just, it's Ajax all over again. Absolutely all over again. Ah, oh, infuriating. We got a goal up early on, and I said it. I said it after I celebrated the goal. Nobody marks him. 
Nobody. We've got a long throw in here, and we really need to pull something out of the magic trick bag. What are we gonna? We do. Trevor Chalobah scores. It's two two against PSV, and I, the comeback, the fight back. I don't know, but it's on. And there is time left to maybe... No, don't be thinking about getting another Yorkie. Just accept that. A beautiful header, Trevor. Beautiful. I don't want to be attacking. No, 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 no. Don't. No. No. Please. Please don't do this to me. I cannot take this again. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was their moment. If you remember, PSV were the team that we were 3-2 up against. And they scored after added time was over but not this time we managed to get a 2-2 draw and to be honest with you if you just said at the start of the match that we'd get a win and a draw in these live comms i would have absolutely bitten your hand off that is a decent result i'm actually extremely happy with that to be honest with you it means we're on 29 points but it means we're still in touching distance we're not that far behind because i genuinely believe that den Haag and vitesse surely have to drop off at some point and we surely have to take off on a good run take off on a good run or win the cup basically that's where we're at now the board absolutely happy with this absolutely fine not a problem but i know that we can't afford now with the squad that we've built with all these great young players not to be doing well or else we're, we're in trouble we're in trouble financially and the club will go bankrupt and it'll just be like bolton if you haven't watched bolton now go and check it out on the channel, obviously, playlist. So after that result, we do stay seventh. And I'm genuinely, I'm okay with it. Cody is, he's a beast, isn't he? I'd love to have him in our team. He's caused me problems the entire time he's been at PSV, to be honest with you. And I just really, I really hate him unless he plays for me. But it has to be said, Vitesse are just destroying the league this season in terms of their performances so at den Haag, they just keep winning games how many games have they lost they've lost four az fanor psv so they're beating everyone that's not a top team again psv and, and ajax vitesse lost her they're just beating every single team around them and it's uh it's starting to become a bit worrying because as you can see we've only lost three times this year which is fantastic there's not many teams like that there's us there's psv and is Feyenoord? No, there's us, PSV, and Ajax, who... Oh, and AZ. AZ have only lost one. So they're the four teams you'd expect to have lost the least amount of games. But unfortunately for me, we've drawn eight now. A 2-2 against PSV. <laughs> a 1-1 against Heracles. I'm laughing because I can't believe how many games we've drawn. We've drawn against Den Haag. Drawn against PSV twice now this season. I mean, it's not it's not terrible result, is it? Drawn against AZ. I just... Please, please get some more in the win column, boys. It, it's like if we win, usually it is emphatically, apart from the William game. But if we don't win win it's just it, it's a draw or a loss which just cheers i turned into michael owen then for a second right guys well that will be it for this episode i hope you're enjoying the double live comms and I, honestly i appreciate all your support if you haven't subscribed go and hit that subscribe button um come and check me out on twitch we've got a schedule now on twitch mondays wednesdays fridays and sundays question mark on the sunday five o'clock onwards uh, uk time if you are free come and pop in have a chat in there have a laugh we have a great community i'm gonna go on a little bit of a run now and i think i might play the entirety of this month um as well as the quarterfinal and then there'll be more high there'll be more live comes coming towards the back end of the season i've just realized that we play a uh, ajax firenard and az in the second to last month Great. So, really, we need to have secured a decent position before we get to that stage, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm going to try and blast through this month now, I think. Get this month done and dusted. Hopefully, we get a result against Vitesse. I might come back for the Vitesse game. I don't know. I'll decide off camera. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Stay safe, stay sexy, and I'll see you soon, guys.